Hello, my name is Hunter Lloyd. I'm from Bozeman, Montana. I'm a robotics engineer. And this is Looney, the robot. One of my robots. Uh, Looney and I do a lot of talks. We do a lot of talks at K through 12 schools, uh, universities, parents' weekends, birthday parties, frat parties, Christmas parties. We've done a lot of talks at a lot of different places, conferences. And I get a lot of requests during our little robot comedy show we do. I get a lot of requests for videos of what uh, Looney can do and some of some of uh, his tricks. So these aren't things that Looney necessarily does in the act, but these are just a couple of some programs I've thrown together in the last couple of days to show the skills that Looney can do. Um, yesterday I was at a college classroom and, and showed off Looney, and so this is a little program that we did just to introduce Looney. So I'm going to show you that first, and then I've got about a bunch of others I'm going to show, and it's probably going to be a two-part part series because there's uh, I've made too many to do in a 10-minute YouTube clip. So first, I'll let Looney tell you about himself. Hello, my new human friends. My name is Looney, the robot. Let me take a look at you. We were in a classroom full of students yesterday. I don't see anybody. Where is the audience? I'm wasting my battery. There is a camera there, Looney. Oh, there is a camera. I am a now humanoid robot. Hello. I will tell you about my features. I have lots of bright, shiny lights. The lighting in here is very good, but he's turning them off and turning them on. It's just a bunch of LEDs. He's got them everywhere, even on his feet. I have two cameras on my face. And four distance finders on my chest. I have touch sensors on my feet, hands, and on top of my head. Bonjour. I speak several languages. You can friend me on Facebook and find me on YouTube under Looney the Robot. That was exhausting. I am done now. So that was just Looney telling you a little about himself. He's going to sit down. We're in our fancy, so I don't know how good the lighting is if, if some of this stuff's going to work, because we're in our fancy video studio, which is my garage. All right, so last week, uh, this is where, earlier this week, we went to Boston, Looney and I, so I couldn't figure out exactly how to get Looney through the airport. I've tried several different things, and so I figured the best way is just to put him in a baby stroller, and I stroll him across. the airport. So I was in Minneapolis and, and Boston and next week we're going to Orlando and uh, so this next program I'm going to show you this is a program I wrote did I get it started? Yeah. This is a program I wrote to be able just to entertain the TSA security guards at the airport because I figured in the old days they made you turn on your laptop to prove it was a laptop and it would start. And I was afraid they were going to do that for, for Looney here. So I wrote a little program for Looney to, uh, to talk. And this also uses some of his speech recognition. So he... Should I stand up? He's now asking, is it okay to stand up? Yes. If I told him yes, he knows it's okay to stand up. He stood up. After he went through the radar, I had him do this at the end of the track. Hello, human airport security person. My name is Looney, the robot. Am I in trouble? No. 
He didn't detect that. No. That was close. So there wasn't any checks by the TSA. He had about 12 TSA standing around him when he did that on the way to Boston. And when he went through the little screener and they had looking through the TV, there was at least 10 TSA standing behind him because they wanted to see the little little baby robot go see what it looked like in the TV screen. Then they had to turn around to show everybody else in there. Uh, he was quite a little hit. Goodbye. Turn off that program and then show you. So then on the way back from Boston, I decided to run a different program. And this program uses his face detection. And so he's using his cameras right now to try to detect a face. And when he was strolling him through the stroller in the airport, every time he saw a face, he would do this. Hello, one person. So he said one person. Hello, one person. Oh, shoot, I think I just hit the button to stop it. Let's see. I did. He has touch sensors on his feet, so I use those as on off. Hello, one person. And I just hit Hello, it. one person. Hello, one person. So every time he sees me, he says, hello, one person. Hello, one person. And raises hello, his hand one and waves. Person. Hello, one person. If I put him back toward you, he doesn't see you because you're a camera. And so he doesn't, he doesn't say anything. And then as soon as I get him back to me. Hello, one person. So, whoops. I got the... Sit down. So, as I'm strolling in through the stroller, he's seen people in the airport and saying hello, and people would come up. And a lot of people took pictures with him. He's a big, big fan of the pictures. And then, uh, but then in the security line, I got this really long line at the Boston airport that was like a sur like a, like a big snake. And so as I'm going this way, there's like a hundred people going back this way, and he was just hello one person, hello three people, because he actually counts the amount of faces he sees. And hello three people, hello twenty people, and he just kept going and going. So I had to end up putting a blanket over the top of him to keep him quiet. One more time, just to show you. Hello one person. Which had a picture or something. Hello one person. So my next program I'm going to do is I'm going to take him Hello, one person. and put him in the mirror and see if he detects himself. Because I can also train him on objects and I can train him on my face and he will know my face versus other people's faces. So I'm going to train him on his own face so when he sees a mirror he's going to see how impressed he is with himself. He also can do sound recognition. Sound recognition. Marco. So we can play Marco. Who said that? We can play Marco Polo together. Oops. Marco. So if I say Polo. Who said that? He looks at me because he knows this is where Marco. the sound is coming from. He's got four that? microphones around, four microphones around his his head, Marco. and by knowing which sound is hitting which microphone quicker and which one is stronger, Marco. he knows he can do a spatial recognition. So if I walk over here, Polo. See how well that worked? <laughs> Who said that? There you go. Polo. Marco. Polo. Who said that? Marco. Polo. Who said that? Whoops, he got confused. Marco. Polo. Who said that? Marco. Polo. Polo. Who said that? There we go. I'll see if I can get him to go up high. Marco. Polo. Who said that? Marco. Polo. Polo. Who said that? Polo. Polo. I'm trying to get him to go up high. Polo. Marco. Polo. Oh. Who said that? He's following me. So I got a little bit of a delay when he's Marco. listening in there, and that's kind of what brought the problem that? with that. If I keep going back here, I'll have him snap his neck off, Marco. but I don't want him to do that. All right, so that's pretty Who much... Who said that? Goodbye. Goodbye. Marco. Goodbye. So that ends my uh, time limit that I can do on a YouTube video, but I have like four more 
programs that I wrote up for this. So I'm going to stop it here, and I'm going to start part two and show you some more of loony behaviors. I'm rubbing my hands together because I'm freezing. <laughs>